hey guys so before we begin our second tutorial uh, this is a short mini tutorial if you might call it that we need certain things in order to test your application all right so in the next tutorial we're gonna start building it so here I'm gonna show you a few steps in order to install a few necessary things so first thing you need is node.js right so go ahead to node.js.org or google it or whatever and download and install the latest version that which is the 12.10.0 at the moment of recording this video go ahead and install the latest version do no need to go for the recommended one go ahead and choose the latest one easily and after you've done installing that open up your terminal application whatever it is and type in node hyphen hyphen version my so it should show you the version if it does not you have some kind of problem installing node so go ahead and see what's wrong google what you need and if you need something else go ahead and comment under this video i'll try to help you if you if i can right so after you install node i'm on 11.13 the latest one is 12.10 at the moment go ahead it doesn't matter which version you're on but try to be on the latest version all right, so after you've installed node, we need this package, I mean this module. It is called HTTP server. In order to install that, you're gonna type in npm install HTTP server hyphen G. The G is to install this globally. npm is a package manager for node. Uh, if you don't know, uh, go ahead and install that. Uh, I already have HTTP server so okay this one is probably a root access so what you gotta do is type in sudo HTTP in npm install whatever enter your password if they ask you right now I've installed it uh, I've already had that but uh, the package was outdated so they updated it automatically so that's where we are right now and i think this is all we require in order to start oh there's one more thing the during the testing of our application would we would need it to run on https the thing with here is a sample application i have i'm gonna open terminal here and so what we are basically gonna do with http server is type in http server space dot in order to serve this file so what this does is it is a server for our html application because we are using our uh, facebook sdk instant game sdk it does not work locally so if you just double click the application HTML, uh, html application it would open up in the browser but it would not serve properly so what you need is a server in order to get the server we're gonna use the http server package and type this in the folder where you're gonna do it and click enter so it is it automatically started serving at 127.0.0.1 at the port 8080 if you open it we can see our application here doesn't matter what this application is this is a web app i did for something else do not mind what is happening inside here but what you can see is it is serving here now one more thing that is to be said is that 127.0.0.1 is exactly the same as local host see nothing changed but the url changed All right so what you need is this url and there's one more catch to it you need https over here but the thing is what this is served without https a local host url so it should be like this but when we open that with https protocol you get an ssl error so that is because we are serving it locally and we don't we do not have a certificate or whatever in order to serve it so a quick thing is i'll put this link under the description you go ahead and copy this entire first line of code over here i mean if you can me <laughs> yeah done and you hit Control c to close the server enter this here just type in anything now a certificate is created now 
if you go ahead and check the files you'll see two new files over here key.pem and cert.pem so this certificate is required for us to serve via https now we copy this code and paste this over here now what we are gonna do is we are opening it with https but do not mind the cross or strike through on this text uh, just click advance and click proceed it should load and it should be in https if you go ahead and check there so that is all you need to know for now and in the next tutorial which is actually our second tutorial we'll start with facebook sdk